Hello guys, welcome to the next part of what if Mongol never fall and this will be one of the second last final part as this series is going to be ending pretty soon. So as always we will be recapping the last part. In the last part we have seen that how the growth of Mongol has happened and influenced other places and the part of Silk Road have managed them to grow in an immense way new way and the rise in technology and medical science have made the population grow to be a very large impact on the society in a much earlier time that has made only possible to have some very new consequences to happen these will be discussed in this part so as always we should jump right into it so in this part we see that the growth of population is being exponential and in the early part of 17th century, we have seen a tremendous growth in population. This has resulted in a time where the population has surged in such a way that Mongol have reached a total population of over a billion. In a such a big nation doesn't make much sense because if we have at this time have billion population in a very small place, but at that time that was a very big deal. This have made them Mongol to not control the such a long empire in a very frugal way and the rise of some places have become a prominent thing because the only few places that, that cover the Silk Road were more influential than others and other were just left for agriculture area. This has made these places to grow in an exponential way and have made a very place like London in early 18th century. This have made them to grow off slums and other places and have a very big impact on the society. Yes, you are right in some way the plague will happen in this region not in London. Due to the overcrowdedness and not managing the place very well and Mongol eating anything they see, this has resulted in many diseases to cause and have made many people sick and the people will die in the quantities of millions and this will be one of the worst time in economy to ever happen and it will be even greater than the black plague that was once been spread in europe it will be far greater than them because now it is not a population of million but billion people it has been affected and it will be killing more than 50 million to 100 million people in just few years this has made Mongol to fall in some way and have lose their some power and due to this some of the region are been occupied by countries like India and other region of Africa have gained their own independence and these will never be coming back to Mongol especially the Indian part because India is very strong and having trade relationship India just expanded and have the opportunity and some part of Europe will also be acquired due to it due to the struggle and due to the failure of Mongol Empire this has resulted them to becoming in size this has made hurt in a very big way and due to the rise in medical science this will be dealt within few decades and due to this the plague will end pretty soon but still it will cause massive casualties it the people death count will reach 100 million 200 million no no it has reached more than 500 million people yes the mongol empire population shrink to less than half and the same effect that was happening in europe in our timeline it will happen to mongol due to less population the growth of every person will be more because the overcrowdedness has made Mongol to rise to fame but due to overcrowdedness not every people become rich and due to this play many people become rich because now the land available is very large and this has made them shift in their economy to one place of having a very rich empire but people are poor now richer empire and richer people this has made them very influential in many other ways because now they value more on humans than resources. This has made them reach many new boundaries. The African part that was being conquered by Africans and gain independence will be conquered by them. And due to their sheer strength and their brutalness, now they easily have tapped into many other parts. 
they have now become sailors and have conquered the part of australia and america are being conquered by them that means now america will have an mongolian influence even the new zealand and australian part will also have that influence and other region of africa has now lose their sovereignty and have conquered by mongol this has made them very large they have nearly acquired more than 50% of the world that we see today that has made them even more richer because they now exploited many regions and have made tap into many new environment have become a multi country dominating society and have reached nearly every part of the world and it been said in this era that the sun never fall in mongol empire that we once said from britain this is now made them even more powerful and that made other empire to have an eye on them and due to their sheer strength they now see some of difficulties because in some ways mongol have become self sufficient and that have made them fear of their sovereignty that make them to bump up their army this made an alarm to mongols this will make a new world war where mongol will be fighting against european combined union and india yes this will happen a very rich mongol with the same very rich indian and european that are very more populated than mongol now see how the more equipped mongolian army and more brutal one will attack india and some part of europe that have they not conquered and this would be the expansion of mongolian or the fall of mongolian this will be decided in the next part so stay tuned the next part will be having the major world war where the casualties will be not in million it will reach billion because now the total population is over reach of 5 billion people and this will affect not a small region that was affected in world war 1 world war 2 but now having the whole world to participate in it not even a single piece of land is now not participating this will make situation much much worse but we will see a much brutal war in the next part so stay tuned